let me to finish it up this barrel. I create another layer called highlights. Let's, let's, uh, let's get something. Press B key. You can add the highlights. Then you adding these kind of lines really help. can apply any sort of um, extra painting skill that you have. I'm pretty sure you guys are pretty good at those things. Let me return off other layers because I can't see the, this crease line. Okay, you don't have to follow me along. If you know, you don't have to do the exact same thing that I am doing. If you have any ideas, please uh, yeah, unleash your creativity and your own stuff. And pretty sure you. Do slowly and get this nice line. Those kind of line is always help to make it prominent in this area. And after that, I'll show you how to apply another cool texturing effect. It's called dissolve. And then we'll turn on everything. Here we go. Okay. Also in here, even even to the, that layer, you can apply something else. You can darken, or you can add soft light. Light, whatever. Overlay. Yeah, I'll leave it as an overlay. Then I create another layer, known this all. can apply any names okay uh, then what I'll do press B key and make a bigger brush size I'll show you how dissolve is going to look like I want to change that layer to dissolve see that's a dissolve that's a cool effect to be have on your model so since this one is an old barrel, Change the color. And also, if you don't like, you can erase. See, eyedropper, eyedropper is the picking the color and try any other tools okay this uh, you can burn okay that's good enough guys okay that's good enough definitely then what i'll do i'm going to create another layer with this layer because we've been creating the uh, diffuse map i want to create the specular map i want to show how a specular map is going to work Okay, speak. Okay, when 
I click this little arm icon to create a new layer. Then instead of diffuse color, diffuse channel, I want to create the specular. So then see it's under the specular channel. Specular add the shininess to your uh, barrel. You can add this kind of shininess. You can paint. Hopefully, you guys are able to see. These sides are shine. These are not. What I'll do is a cool way to apply. Let me get this one. I'm going to apply through the stencil. So since this one is an old tin barrel, it's not like a brand new one. It's not going to shine all over. This barrel had been shiny barrel a long time ago, <laughs> but no longer. Definitely, this is a very, very uh, useful software for your pipeline to utilize. This method is called poly painting. You directly paint the paint on the, your 3D model. Okay, that's good enough. Press the Q key to get rid of the now you can see that shininess happening that's through your specular color okay let me show the next one uh, is uh, how to bake the normal map it's a bit diff uh, different to the um, uh, making the uh, like uh, any other channels it's you have to uh, to bake the normal map you go to the map extract new operation then tick normal map this is in here what it says it's a uh, we in the level zero i want to bake and this is a level four i'm i'm trying to bake all the detail in level four into the level zero the, because the level four you can't remember we add the level level four four levels by shift um, pressing the shift d and we add all the detail in there we want to bake we want to bake all high detail into the level zero. That's what we try. And uh, ray casting change its method to subdivision because since we had the subdivision, uh, that's good. Anti alias, I change it to four. And capability to 3DX max. Texture in type is fine. Map type texture. Then you can assign where these maps need to be saved okay my go to my go to your project folder that is on my desktop max then scene assets images okay under the images i'm going to save this map as a jpeg file you can use jpeg bmp tiff any i am going to tin barrel normal that is the name of the map then once you've done all those things then you can extract the map wow it's take a uh, bit of time to extract the map now it says it's been extracted now it's all good guys okay now normal map is being extracted if i show how uh, uh, how is my normal map look like? Let me open up. This is my normal map. Okay. This is my normal map. See, you can see these stripes. This is the dent that I have here. 
um, those uh, like a, those uh, like a dent area going to carry through this normal map. Then let me to yeah, let me to bake other layers. In here we have few few diffuse channel. I want to merge this channel. Select top layer. Select one. Okay, under the diffuse channel, select one over here, top one. Then you can do merge visible. If you don't like to merge any of these layer um, to your ba uh, base map, you don't. Uh, you can turn that one off by clicking the these dots. Okay. I'll, I'm happy with all this channel, all this color channel. Therefore, I want to merge merge visible. Okay, then it's merged to one uh, one channel. You can name this color. Then you can export. Select that uh, diffuse channel. Export. Export selected. Again, select your project file. Select your project file. Where is that? Uh, one box. Scene assets, images. I'm save, gonna save this one as a JPEG file to parallel color CL. Here we go. And I want to the next one I want to extract the specular color. There is a no more painting channel, only one. I can export select that channel under the diffuse, oh sorry, under the specular. Export selected. Spec. Okay, now I have extracted my color map and the specular map and the normal map. If I show everything in here under my project file, scene assist, images, see, I have extracted those files. This is my diffuse color. This white part is. So this is my specular map. This white part uh, will be shiny. This is my color map. That's how it's going to look like. Okay, guys. Uh, in my next video, I'll show you how to assemble those maps in a 3DX map. Okay, that's going to be very important uh, video for you guys too. If you don't know how to assemble them.